for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So, Libra, in the recent past, we got Temperance and the Star card. So, with Temperance here, in the recent past, you probably found that your relationships, they were all of them were, or most of them were going quite well. You probably needed to look and see if you had any deep personal issues and see if they were standing in your way. And if they were, how to work through them, how to integrate them. The ideal would have been to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you had at that time. It's paired with the star card. Now with the star card, you could, you could have found that you were feeling really inspired and you would have been more hopeful about the future than you had been in a while and you would have felt more confident that your needs were being met whether it was emotional or financial or it could have been both they were more than likely being met just know nothing could have been taken for granted of course but it would have been unlikely that your confidence was misplaced and this is also a spiritual card so you could have been feeling at one with all the creation and it's not a common feeling so you probably should have tried to savor it so Libra in the recent past you got temperance and the star card so it's pretty straightforward in the recent past you probably um, tried to find balance and peace of mind or you could have tried to reconcile with someone or there was some type of reconciliation um, but it could have just been that you were um, trying to find balance and if you had any personal issues um, and if they were standing in your way you, you tried to work through them because it looks like you wanted to feel like a star that was probably your goal at that time. Uh, like the star card is about any gr any uh, grief of the past that's released. You're rejuvenated and hopeful, and you've got a lot of faith. It's about renewal. It's about hope. It's about inner clarity. So you were looking for balance in a lot of ways in yourself and in your mind. Probably in more ways than that, mind, body, and soul, because we got two really um, these cards are kind of similar, kind of rejuvenated, hopeful about the future, finding balance and peace of mind. So it looks like you were trying to tend to yourself and just stay in good vibes so that's the recent past now let's talk about what's going on with the present time we got the knight of cups and it's with the knight of pentacles now the knight of cups it's a good card to see in a reading it comes with messages so if you're trying to see if someone's going to reach out they are yes they are the knight of cups most definitely uh, this card comes with messages, so this person could be um, texting you or calling you. Uh, it's the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups, it tells you that things are going really well and you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card is good news, particularly in the realm of the matters of the heart. It's with the Knight of Pentacles, which is also about messages. So, yeah, you can definitely expect this person to communicate with you. Uh, you got two message cards here. You could be finally receiving some news that you've been waiting on, and it's good news. The Knight is a very practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your life. There was a wise man that once said, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, the Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to take a look at how you're handling your affairs. So, Libra, for the present time, coming up towards the end of 
July or could go into August. We've got someone, like I said, that wants to reach out to you. It could be the person that you're dealing with. Could be someone new or could be could be anyone. It could if you if you know it's not a love interest, it could be a friend or a family member, but these cards are about matters of the heart, so it's gotta be romantic. Because this Knight of Cups, they come in wanting to be romantic and sensitive, and the Knight of Pentacles Um, they, this person uh, will come in wanting to be stable, civilized. They take things slow and steady. And this Nine of Pentacles is really good to marry type. Very civilized. So, your person, they, they're trying to come in, come towards you in a way that they know they can get you. They'll try coming in being romantic and sensitive and if that doesn't work they'll try coming in being civilized and stable. Someone wants to be with you Libra. Really, really, really. We got two message cards here. Someone will be reaching out to you. Now let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. Well we got the Wheel of Fortune. Now this card, it tells us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else changes. So live in the now and count your blessings and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control, but that's okay too. Roll with any changes and think positive. It's with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, it's likely that you find, like in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well, you should be feeling good and your projects, they're moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt though, but just know that now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. The Seven of Wands is about being independent and thinking for yourself. So the challenge, Libra, this person that's so wanting to reach out to you, um, they also want to be the last man standing. They want to win this connection with you. They want to win you. Last man standing. Uh, you could be feeling like fortune is in your favor at this time. Yeah. The will of fortune is there so you feel like good fortune is, is on your side. Great. So let's take a look and see what the outcome is going to be. We got this Two of Wands and the Nine of Wands. The Two of Wands, with this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things. Like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it often indicates a partnership with another person. This can be business, it can be personal, or it can be both. Two of Wands, it reminds us to, take, to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for all successful relationships. If things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they are about to get substantially better. So it's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. That's Two of Wands, and it's with the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands, it can indicate anxiety, worry, and being burdened and keyed up over concerns. The first and the best step is to take a deep breath, calm down, and don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you must, because at least some of the worries don't turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. You might want to ask yourself what is the true, what is the likelihood of the worry actually happening? So comfort yourself. 
And if you feel you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Because asking for help is the mark of a strong person. Okay, so... Let me just tell you this with the Two of Wands. If you're um, looking for love, if there's some single Virgo, I'm sorry, if there's some single Libras out there looking for love and relationships, love or relationship, and you get the Two of Wands in a reading, someone who could be very good for you is already likely a part of your world. So don't judge a book by its cover. If someone is interested in you, you might want to give them a chance. This relationship could be just what you've been looking for. So that's just a little side note for any single Libras out there. The Two of Wands explains that. Yeah, someone is already a part of your world who's really good for you. And you may not even know it. So, back to the outcome, the Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. <clears throat> so, Libra, this person that's wanting to come towards you until they get you, because they want to be the last man standing, <laughs> and you feel good, you feel good about it, because they've got that will of fortune there. You feel like fortune is finally in your favor. <laughs> so, that's nice. But the outcome, it looks like you could have a decision to make because there's two wands there and this person is more directed towards the wand on the right than he is to the left. So you could have two paths towards a future. Maybe two options. So you could be thinking about someone else or you could be thinking should you choose this one or should you choose that one. So there's some type of decision that you have to make and it looks like it's going to cause you some anxiety. Yeah, you, you'll be stressed out and um, worried. Maybe it's because you're not sure which path to choose. Maybe you could be thinking, should I just stay single or should I go with this person that's trying to reach out in a romantic way or should I, some type of decision. And it's going to cause a lot of anxiety though. So maybe you're not sure about this person because they'll try coming in, being romantic and sensitive, and if they see that doesn't work, they're going to try coming in, being slow, stable, civilized. So you might just decide to close yourself off and become guarded. I don't know, maybe you're just not trusting right now, but... Fortune is in your favor, so this could actually be a good thing. But it looks like you might close yourself off. Because you're unsure about a decision to make. So Libra, that's what I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. But um, what I'll do is... I'll put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys are taking good care of yourself, staying strong, and... Um, and um, be smart and healthy. I know a lot of people don't want to wear a mask, but I don't know. If you don't want to wear a mask for yourself, maybe try to wear one for other people. 
I don't know. Don't get mad at me. Some people get mad at me when I say that, but there's a, it's, the virus is still out there. I don't know why. Some people think it's not. But you see a lot of people not wearing masks, and they'll come up to you like it's nothing and just start talking. <laughs> and I'll be like, whoa, back up off me.